Late Wednesday night, Wisconsin Republican state senators forced through Governor Walker's so-called budget repair bill, taking out all the budget bits and leaving only the union busting. With fiscal aspects removed, there was no longer a requirement for a quorum, and the measure passed 18 to 1, with no Democrats from the Senate back in state. Massive protests took place outside while the vote happened, and the protests haven't subsided yet. Reverend Jesse Jackson was there in state within hours, and he joins me again here next. Reverend Jackson, you rushed back to Wisconsin. What did you see so far today? And I understand you were at the state capitol. I'm here now. It's increased pain, passion, and polarization, uh, because what you see is ramrod democracy rather than deliberative democracy. There was a vote last week where uh, most members on the assembly on the house side couldn't even vote when they were sitting there uh last time there was a vote with 14 members not there uh and what one finds is that the idea of uh, of fiscal crisis as the pre is a, a pretext for a real power grab is the people uh, are hurting because when you lose your job and lose your house to foreclosure, and can't pay student loan debt, then your back is against the wall with no place to go. The workers are fighting back. They say it's about the fiscal issue. Well, why would you turn away $810 million from the stimulus package if it's about the fiscal? You turn, you turn away $800 million in a infrastructure program to put people back to work and then put in the budget more money for building more highway at the time gas is five dollars a gallon. What they really want to do when you take away collective bargain, you leave the workers and consumers unprotected. If you put nine hundred million on a cut in K through twelve education, uh, it will make the poor even poorer. Uh, uh, they want to change the the, the, the eligibility standards on on Medicaid, for example. Or to have the unilateral power to privatize state uh, state assets. It was to go to corners and buddies. And so this is something wholly corrupt. Yeah. And people are fighting back. Reverend Jackson, put on your reverence cap just for a minute. A lot of people communicated with me last night about feeling angry for sure, but also depressed. If they had thought maybe there was a process they could believe in, that maybe this would not go ahead to watch these heavy handed ramrod tactics, as you describe them. Um, how does, what's your advice? How, how do you react to that yourself personally to see that the odds are even tougher perhaps than you thought? Well, fight a counter revolution. It's not a one round, one big fight. It's a long distance fight. Uh, and Rosa Parks sat down in 55. It took her a year to win that battle. When Rosa, when, uh, from the time she sat down, the public accommodation bill was nine years. Uh, from 55 to the Voting Rights Act in 65 was a 10 year battle. Mandela was in jail 27 years, and so this is, first you have to have the attitude that this is not a, a one demonstration go home kind of fight. Uh, they thought through carefully what amounts to a, a kind of revolution. It's uh, the right to work law ideology, anti-civil rights, anti-labor. Uh, and so from Wallace denying people the right to vote in Alabama, the Walker and I and the workers the right to vote in, in, in Miss Hess is an unbroken line of an ideology that's basically uh, very jilted and very undemocratic. Mm. What happens next there in that state? What will you be doing this weekend? Well, one thing that happens next is that there's a big election here, April the 5th, elect Supreme Court justice uh, in municipal elections. And so many people who did not vote in um, November by their not voting allowed Walker to win. So now people have their recommitment to voting. And so a big statement can be, can be made November the 5th, I mean, uh, April the 5th. Now, this week, Laura, uh, 46 years ago, we were marching in Selma for the right to vote. Uh, and so here we are, kind of poetic justice 46 years later in the same season. Now, the king was killed April 4th, 1968. So April the 5th this year would be a great commemoration through his acting legacy. Reverend Both Jackson, thank you so you. much. History from Wallace to Walker, from Dr. King to this moment.
We'll continue this coverage and we'll join you in Madison this weekend. Thanks for being part of our continuing reporting here at Grit TV. Enjoy Grit TV? Want more people to see it? Well, we are making our program available free to public television stations coast to coast. If you would like to see our show on your local public television station, please give them a call and ask for Grit TV with Laura Flanders. Thanks.